friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing some decorating around the home and I just wanted to share my thought process with you guys with um, some of the decorating that I do. Now, one of my favorite ways to brighten up a room is with fresh flowers. As you can see, I have all of these fresh flowers right here behind me. Almost every time I go to the grocery store, I pick up fresh flowers. It always just makes a clean room so much happier but today um, is Mother's Day so that's why I'm all dressed up and that's why I have all of these beautiful flowers my husband and my boys surprised me with this huge bunch of peonies and then I um, have these roses and I think carnations from a few days ago so they are so gorgeous I just love to um, put them in vases and make arrangements with them and take pictures of them if you follow me on Instagram you would know that I'm always taking pictures of my flowers it just brings me so much joy and makes me so happy so that's something that I love to do so stick around and we'll do a little bit of decorating today you set my world on fire I don't know what I do without you you make me smile what is it that you do this little spot down here oh, I'm in my family room if you don't know and we've got like a couch here we've got chairs and it looks at the TV and this is where we watch TV so we have this whole blank wall and on the wall I have this bench um, it is made from an old door or two old doors and the arms here are Corbell's um, I bought it at an antique fair and it was made to be a porch swing. Um, so I think it had like somewhere to put a chain on it. I'm not quite sure what exactly it had, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a swing. There were no legs. We put the legs on it because <clears throat> we don't really have an area for the swing that would go outside. Um, so honestly, <clears throat> Honestly, I really thought this was a unique piece and I love it and I still love it, but I kind of just wish that I could find another use for this space, but I have not been able to think of anything yet, so I'm just going to work with what I have. I recently purchased this clock, which it is so pretty, but I just, I don't know, I'm not feeling it down here, so I think I'm going to take it down and then I thought, what am I going to do with it because I have no other place to put it. Um, so I'm thinking about hanging it outside possibly under our covered patio. So we have these little hooks um, that go on the siding. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go ahead and take that down now. If I can get it down. Oh! It's All right. I ran out of space on my card and obviously this is not going to work the way that I have got this up here. It's like hanging up, up, it's hanging out from the wall. But I'm just trying to get a feel of if I will like it up there. And you know, I just, I just don't know. I'm not loving it. I don't, I don't think it's big enough. Okay. Shoot. So, Maybe I will try and hang it upstairs um, by the dining room table. I have a painting there that I love in that area, but it was originally down here. And I moved it, what did I do? I moved it up there at Christmas time because I didn't feel like it went with my Christmas tree. It didn't match the coloring or anything. And I feel like this kind of matches the coloring upstairs because I have that other 
um, painting that has a little bit of this bluish color in it. But I mean, this is a gorgeous painting and I order it and I'm like, what am I gonna do with it? Um, I've been wanting to order a new fireplace, which is a big long story. And, um, but I guess I'll tell you because I've only mentioned it on Instagram, but I've been wanting to order this fireplace and I'll show you. It's a disaster. But um, right here we have, or there, our fireplace and our TV. And if you see, there's a hole above it. Um, that is where all our TV components are built in. We built this wall um, on the corner like that so we can house all of our um, components in it. And uh, that thing, this is movie theater down there, actually goes over it. But when my husband made it, he made it so that you can just take it off and on when I wanted it to be on a hinge. He actually did recently buy a hinge, but he hasn't put it back, put it on yet. Um, so I hate that every time he comes down here to play a game, he takes it off and just leaves it there. So that's primarily the view that I see. The um, mantle is a hand hewn um, antique beam. And I don't know, I want something different. So that's like the thing with this picture, I ordered it because I saw it online and I liked it. And even when I see things in stores, I can bring them home and then I feel like I can't find a place for them or make them work in my house. So surely I'll be able to make this work, but I just don't know where yet. I kind of want to um, redo pretty much everything in this room. I told my husband I wanted to uh, take the ship lab down in the whole room, but I don't know if he's on board with that. So that's where I'm at right now. I've got this big open space. I'm gonna go get the other painting and do a little swap out and see. Um, obviously I know I like that painting there, but now I gotta think um, if I get rid of this, what could I put here? Because I've got this sofa, I've got a sofa table, and then what would you, what would you put behind it? A big long credenza, some shelving maybe. I, I don't know very expensive furniture that probably would take me time to pick out and decide on and I just haven't decided on anything like that yet but this was something that I just found and so that is what's there. So the clock did look good there. I don't think that this picture looked good there but I just don't want I guess the style that the clock is in here really so I'm going to try that painting and I'll be right back. Alright, I said if I did a decorating video it would be chaotic because that's how I decorate. I mean if it was um, holiday I could just come in and decorate very easily but when I'm just doing like the main stuff and it's not that easy because I'm not sitting a bunch of little trinkets and stuff around so they're like big main pieces that I really have to think about and this, this one is pretty heavy. Let's See if we can get the camera on it. And I don't know, let's compare sizes here. I definitely know this one's not as big. So there's the size difference. We'll see. We'll see what works. Now, my husband hung these. He's much better at it. But let's see if these, this will go up here. So that's what I originally had there. I like that much better. The candles um, are a little crooked because I had burned them. I don't know why the light, lighting keeps going out, but um, hmm, 
It definitely seems a little crooked to me, but I'll have my husband fix that whenever he gets home because there's nothing I can really do about it. And um, I'll look for the siding hook so I can see what that clock looks like outside. And then I'm gonna take this upstairs um, to the dining area and I'm gonna check out what this is gonna look like. So come along. My house is a mess right now and I don't have great lighting. Here it is. Ah. Um, we've got some extreme Fortnite sessions going on, so just bear with me on that. Um, this is where I had that floral painting hanging and it looked a little bare over here, so I don't have a lot of uh, faith that this one's going to look any better since it's smaller. Um, I have this in the center of the table, which also I'm not really liking. Um, I had my peonies in there that I had on Mother's Day, as you saw in the beginning of this video. Um, I planned on doing the decorating really close to that, but I just never got around to filming the video, so uh, I'm doing it now. And then I, I, I cut those after I put them in vases. I put them in like a normal vase for a while, and then I cut them and put them in here. And now I'm about going to put the faux flowers back in. But I will see if I can hang this here. Which is the tags. Sticking out. And I'll come back and see what it looks like. Uh, I mean, it looks fine. I think it'll do. Um, the rest of the artwork in here does have the tone in it. Also, it might be a little crooked. You know what I think might look good is if we made like some kind of like big frame around it or something like a picture light over it. It just looks bare. I don't like that. It's hard for me just to hang something. I mean, maybe if, it, if we had a different house. I think like every house isn't the same. You can't just decorate any house really the way that you want to if that makes any sense because the way that i want to decorate my house right now i can't really do that with how i've got it set up with the ship lab and everything i mean i guess i could extensively remodel it and change everything but that's not going to happen so these are the flowers that i'm going to keep in there i have four separate bouquets of these little white roses and I'm going to go ahead and put these in here for the time being I definitely want to find something else for this space I do love this planter but I don't know. I'm ready to see something else. I'm, I'm ready for home goods to open back up so I can um, find something. I'm also thinking about changing some things up over here. Oh, let me grab the camera off the tripod. Um, so I have these mirrors here again also not my none of this is my favorite I could just change it all and I don't like the way these flowers are in here gosh I just am not liking anything so I got this thing at an antique store years ago and we've got a Fortnite balloon in the floor um, and I've had it in this corner just with some little knickknacks in it and I kind of want to take that out of the corner and I've done that once before and it just looks so bare um, I have a crock over there with some flowers um, but this is what it's looking like right now and I'm sure you've seen if you've been on my channel very long some nice tours of the house when it's looking nice and not so chaotic and messy like it does now but here's what the picture looks like 
in this space. Okay. Um, I was just sitting down here. I'm back down here contemplating what to do. Okay. So you may have noticed this in the floor earlier. I went to buy an outdoor rug the other day and I found a rug that I wanted, but I also found this rug, which I have the small version of, and I've always tried to get the big version, but it's always been sold out. And it was sold out online and in store, but it just so happens there was one in our store and it didn't show it on like their system. So, and it was like disheveled. It wasn't wrapped properly. So I, I'm saying, thinking it's a return. So I'm gonna see maybe what it looks like down here. Cause I tried it outside and I didn't like it. So I'm gonna see what it would look like under this bench maybe. Or I'm just going to have to return it. I think this would make a great layering rug. I am just ready for change down here. Like everything changed. Okay, that's too far back up against the wall. It's a weird rug to smooth out. I don't know if I like it over here either. Okay. Hmm. I mean, there's that rug <laughs> wadded up. I mean, I like it, but I wish I could turn the camera like sideways because it's too tall in here. I like it, but I just don't know if it's like the style that I want to go with. I'm trying to t transition styles actually, and uh, I don't think it's going to be easy. I honestly think that it would be easier to just move, to build a new house. I know that sounds like, you're probably like, Casey, okay, yeah, of course it would be. But honestly, I think this house looks great the way that it is designed. And I don't know, it would just be easier to build something fresh. Okay, so that's that. I might leave that there for a bit, see if it grows on me. Um, I do have this stuff sitting here and I think I'm going to move it. Uh, see, okay. I know you guys wanted to see decorating, but what I've been doing lately is, okay, I'm sorry. Let's start over. Okay. I know you guys wanted to see decorating, but honestly, I feel like what I've been doing lately is undecorating. I've been just undecorating so many spaces. Um, so right here, I have this cute little drawer. Uh, it's a little drawer, and it has these little plants in it. It says spearmint, parsley, just little herbs. Sage and their faux plants, rosemary. Um, I have this, uh, these beads. So I'm thinking of just 
making this more simple space. But the thing is, with the way that I'm doing everything, there will be no spot for these items. And this item I've decorated with, oh, for quite a while now. And it is this antique dictionary that I found and I've had this for so long, I love it. It is just an old dictionary and it really weighs a ton. And let's see. I thought I had a date in here. I believe it's 100 years old. Um, 1925, so almost 100 years old. So it's it's really a neat thing to look through. Oh, this is one of my favorite things about old books. I would love to be able to hold this up better, but look, this was just This was in here. It's an old, uh, I don't know. Somebody tore it out of a magazine or something. Ma, Ma looked up from her sewing. Ma said, you're not going over to see that Carlisle girl again tonight, are you, Dickie? It had been peaceful in the big living room just a minute ago, and now it wasn't anymore. There were all sorts of rippling little undercurrents, and they tingled your nerves. Yet the warm glow of the big dark shaded lamp was the same and Ma was the same, scowling at her sewing. Her hair so light it was almost the color of corn. Pa was the same too, sitting in his corner in the red armchair, square and solid even to his ruddy face with the sheets of typewritten manuscripts spread across his lap. Dick said doggedly, I've got to, I told her I would. Ma looked up. Her voice was light and sure and easy. What you mean is that you want to see her and that wild horses wouldn't keep. Oh, that's the end. That was getting juicy. Ma was talking about this with Pa. Pa's going to see this Carlisle girl? What? That's wild. <laughs> um... Oh, what's the other side? I don't even know. But you can find all, oh my goodness, you can find all sorts of things. Okay. This one, there's some pictures in here. I found this at a thrift store. Um, What's that? There's some pictures in here. It looks like a frozen waterfall. And this is an actual photograph on Kodak paper. Official sponsor of the Olympic Games, Kodak. So this is someone who had this dictionary, stored these photos in here. So interesting. Like I said, that's one of my favorite parts about um, these old books at thrift stores. I always flip through them to see if there's any little treasures hidden inside. But I'm trying to clean this space up here. So now there's just that. And then I'll go store these away. And I've had that basket with this greenery hanging from there for so long. But it just looks cute there and off also. I don't know where else I would put it. But here's the basket. It's so cute. I'm just going to hang it back up there. I like it there. So yeah. So I just got these two pillows at Target and they are so cute. Um, it's got like a yellow print, um, which kind of looks gold. 
thought this was really pretty and this was only $14.99 and I will link both of these pillows down below this one is from Target as well and it's just such a beautiful color and I just love this pop of color in the room so I'm just going to add the pillows here on the bench and I'm just going to leave those pillows there along with this throw. And just a more simple look. Adds a pop of color. And that's what I'm going to keep here until I figure out just a different way to decorate this whole space. Um, but right now this is what I have. So this is what I'm decorating with. And yeah. But sometimes less is more so... I'm liking this space a whole lot better now, it's just more toned down and you know I replaced the clock with this picture and then I replaced the decor right here with just some simple pillows and I swapped out the rug for a fresh look because that rug has been here for a while, the space I hadn't done anything um, different to it even though this painting I did have hanging up before, uh, I still like this look right now so so hopefully I can get a few more spaces restyled in my home and then I will be doing a summer home tour um, before too long. So be on the lookout for that to come. please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye!